Igor, can I ask you a question? Of course. Look, if I have a simple, simple thing, if I have a new contact, I'd like to send them greeting email. Usually I add contact after I have chatted with them. And then okay. I go to the contact and I fill up the details, nice chatting with you, I'll keep you posted on, on the market and stuff like that. And it takes time, you know. So I thought that's right. You can show me how to do it with uh, CRM, just an automatic uh, follow-up. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. something five minutes My for dear, you will I take me three you days. Anything you want. Thank you. Of course, everything for you. Yeah, so basically greeting email for ev any, every new contact. No problem. Do you know how to create email templates? I know, yes. Okay. So first of all, let's say that you create an email template. Do you know how to create an email template? Yeah, for contacts. That it's, mm -hmm. that it's personalized. So let's say it will be, let's say, A and then the name of the person. Mm -hmm. You know how to do that? Yeah, insert merge tag for first name. That's right. Okay. So let's assume that you created your your template. And let's save that. Okay, so now we have a template. Are we good? We are good, yes. We are good, okay. So now you have this uh, Joe guy. You just talk to him. I just talked to him, yeah. So I will show you two options. One cool option and one basic option. You can click on send email, you click on insert template, and you pick the template. I don't want to insert it every time. Beautiful. I like what I see. Perfect. That's the basic stuff. Let's do the cool stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go to the right side, to the three dots, you have something that's called macro. You still run macro? Mm -hmm. And then you have nothing, you have no macros, so you will click on create macro. Okay. We good? We are. The name will be send an intro email to new contact. Good? Katrina? Good, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. I need the good. If it's not good, I stop. I need to know that you know. I click on select template, and then I select the template that we just created. So first template, right? And then just cho choose that template and insert it here. That's right. And mm -hmm. you have only one person from, but you can select who will be the from. The current user, the record owner. In your case, it will always be the same person anyway. Uh-huh. And you click on done. And whenever you're done, you can click on create. You see? Create, okay. Now, if you add more people in your organization, you can check that. And then you can allow more people from your organization to use this specific macro. Hmm. But in our case, let's make it only for you. Because you are a queen and only queens can do that. <laughs> okay. All right. uh, and let's click on create. Now, let's go back to the contact. And let's go again to one of them. So macros, right? No. That's right. So now, if I'm going here to contact, instead of going to send mail, insert template, blah, 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 I go to the three dots, run macro, and then send an intro email. Once you click on that, you see it's saying the following action will be executed. Send an intro email to new client. And it's saying which email template is going to be sent. If you say run. But this is this step email. number three, right, Lior? So I continue. Like. No, now we already created the code. Oh, we created it. We are reviewing it, right? That's right. So now the macro is created. Mm -hmm. We click on those three dots. Okay. We go to run macro, and you can see that the macro is here. If you click on it, 
It will ask you if you want to run it. And if you do, it will just send the email. Okay. And what and else can more... be done with macros? Can I set up follow ah, follow up call? It seems like now yeah. you're becoming you're becoming you know greedy. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so let's have another thing here. So let's go to the contact, and I'm adding one more field. And let's call it. It will be let's say a date field or a date time field, and I will call it first. Contact <coughs> date. Okay, so that's a date field, date time mm -hmm. field. If I am going back to this contact, we we'll click on the three dots. I go to macro, but I'm going to manage the macros. I'm going to edit this macro. Okay, so this is the macro. We'll edit it. So in this macro, I'm sending only one email template. Is that correct? Mm. But now I want to do more. Now I want to update the first contact date to be now. So oh. That macro answer. So I, I, I will select it here. Now what will happen? is that the email will be sent, but also this first contact date will be stamped to today. Again, it's just an example of what you can do with, with a macro. It might be something else. The idea is that you can send emails, that... you can update different fields in the CRM or create tasks. I'd rather create task, you know, create task because I have already spoken to them. I would call them awesome. two months two months later to see if they have any questions for me. Done. Yeah, but you can also create another date field every time you contact them and then have it automatically show up after 60 days. And every time you contact somebody, you can have it update that field. I know I do that. Yeah, I have it. I have I, I set it up too. You, like, you have that do? Okay. Like, you see? Uh, it's, uh... you see what I did? So I created the task. <clears throat> it will be due date in two months. Two months after the entry date status. Yeah, but you can, of course, have your in progress or whatever, whatever the date, uh, whatever the status is, the priority assigned to the person that is running it. And then you can click on add. And now... Let me show you how it works, because now we have an email that is going to be sent, we have a field that is going to be updated, and we have a task that is going to be sent, all with one click of a button. Lior, do you, would we have mm -hmm. this in a uh, recording somewhere? At I least, will do at it least for you, this absolutely. Part, yeah, because it's anything, too much for me. I'm not David. <laughs> anything for you, come on. For me, it's 10 times, 10, 10 times, times trials. Anything for you, come on, anything for you. <laughs> Let's reload the page. Okay, and now when I'm going to run a macro, if I will click here, you can see that three things will happen. It will update the first contact to today. Mm -hmm. It will send an email with an email template and it will create a new task. Mm -hmm. And when you click on run, you see those check marks, done, done, done. And now in your system, you have an open activity for two months from now, which mm -hmm. is January 25th. Mm -hmm. You have an email that was sent, mm -hmm. which is the first contact date, which is today. Nice. And if you have it in a view, you can run multiples at once. And run the mm -hmm. back. Yep. <clears throat> what do you mean? If you have it in the view, yeah. you can run multiples. See? So you see, yeah, uh, let's say I select all of them and then I can run macro. Oh, I see. Then, then yeah. you know, the problem is it becomes too many calls all, of, all at once, too many tasks. No, that's why you make a view. So you're not showing everybody. Because the way you're asking, right? It's about first time you're contacting. So say you get three new people for the day. Mm -hmm. So they're going into each one individually, 
you have a view that only shows people that you just got today, and you can select mm -hmm. all three and hit the macro button, and you're done. Mm -hmm. And you'll send the emails to all three people. Oh, you're not right. doing it for okay. everybody to contact. I mean, you could. Right. Okay, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense? Mm hmm yeah, it will save a lot of time. And when you call them back in two months, you are like, oh, you know what? We have spoken real estate two months ago. And they are like, oh, really two mm -hmm. months? And she remembers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Be right. Because I don't, you know. <laughs> but now, no one. Now I will. <laughs> no one, totally. Uh, you. 